Hi, I'm Carl from the Woodshop TV, and today I'm going to show you how I make a ring out of automotive paint. Uh, Peter Brown put up a video a couple weeks ago making a pendant out of some paint chips that I had sent him a while back, and it got a lot of interest on some of my older videos, and I heard a few requests to make a ring. So, let's get started. Help support the companies that support our community. Before I get started on the ring, I want to give Dave and Eric a shout out. Thank you so much, guys. This sign is beautiful. I'll put a link to their YouTube channel down below in the description. Hit the little show more button. There'll be a bunch of links down there and to their website. Dave and Eric make these signs. They're handmade. He does it with a router. No, no CNC machine. And he has hundreds of videos up to show you how to do it yourself. So go check out his channel and show him some love. Again, Eric, thank you so much. I appreciate it. It is absolutely beautiful and I will get it put up on the wall. All right, let's get started. So what these are are just chunks that I cut off the rack as they would come through the paint process. I would let them build up on, on it and then I would take a portable bandsaw for maintenance and cut off chunks of it. So they're just chunks that I cut off after letting them, letting them build up for a month or so and that's why they're just odd shapes. It's really cool stuff. It's a little tricky to work with but, but fun. So I've made little hearts and stuff. I think we used the CNC machine for that. But yeah, just fun stuff. And you know, like in that there's, you know, 100 colors or 150 colors. So it's cool stuff. There's a nice piece right there. Let's try and turn a ring out of that. The hot glue holds it on there very well. Put quite a bit on. Spread it around and we'll put some pressure on it from the tailstock. Needs to set up a couple of minutes and then we can start turning it. It's pretty much set up. I'm going to cut off some of the extra so I can save it. I turned down a dowel just under the inside diameter of the ring and then took a Forstner bit down it 
that way when I bring up the tailstock it will open it back up that way it puts a little bit of pressure on it and I can sand it as far as sanding I ran through all the grits I started at 120 and ran through with the mesh pads up to 4000 and I wet sanded the whole thing so there wasn't any dust Hi everyone, I'm Izzy Swan and I'd love to talk to you about Carl for a minute. Carl's probably one of the nicest guys I know, super talented and just does so much for this community and I'd like to share with you a way that you can help support what Carl does. Now I've started something called Toolmasters Association and you can think of it as a discount tool purchasing co-op with a whole lot of benefits. And I've offered Carl an affiliate program to that. So in other words, if you join Toolmasters under Carl, 80% of that revenue goes to Carl and supporting what he does. 20% of it gets dumped back into Toolmasters. Now over there you can get discounts on all kinds of tools, including a couple turning companies that Carl's brought on board, access to free classes like 3D Fusion, Carl's doing some turning classes, we'll be doing rustic furniture design, and lots more classes coming down the pipe. We also have a great exclusive community for Toolmasters members on Facebook, lots of stuff going on over there. Plus we do build-offs and giveaways every month. So if you wanna show some love to Carl and just get discounts on tools, have a lot of fun, be part of a great community, I would please ask you to consider joining Toolmasters under the Carl's affiliate link, which he'll put below this video, and come over and see what we're up to. We're having a great time, super excited about having Carl on board, and we'd love to see you there. You heard him, go check it out. I'll put a link down below in the description for Toolmasters. There's lots of great stuff going on over there, monthly challenges, giveaways, great tool get discounts, and it supports what I'm doing. As far as paint chip, uh, pieces I will put a few pieces up on my Etsy store uh, raw pieces if you want to get some but you can also find it on eBay as far as turning this stuff it is very fragile uh, chips a lot you probably notice in the video that a layer peeled off I have six rings here I made ten of them so everybody loves math that's four four of them blew apart of me but when you get them done it's well worth the effort it's uh i put several coats of the enamel over the top of it if you do have some chips you can use like five minute epoxy to get them back together and stuff but um i don't know really cool stuff i've been working with it for years all right if this is your first time here i have a new project video every friday i hope to see you here on your way out if you please share the video and subscribe it really helps out Till next week take care